So we have OABC is a parallelogram. There it is. Okay. And if you look at the next line, it says to get from O to A, or rather the vector from O to A. So this is a vector's question. The vector from O to A, it says is called little a. And there we are. O to A is little a. It also says O to C is little c. Okay. And then what does it tell us? It tells us that the point X is the midpoint of AC. Well, they haven't actually drawn AC on there, so let's do that ourselves. So from A down to C, nice straight line, there it is. Okay, and there's X, the midpoint. And the next piece of information is that OCD is a straight line, and they tell us about the ratio of OC to CD. Again, not on the diagram, so let's put it on. So O to C to D, let's just continue that line out there like that, and put a D at the end of it. And it tells us that the ratio of O to C is K to 1. Right, those aren't distances, those are ratios. But we'll come back to that. Uh, and then it says, given that XD, right, where's XD? Let's do that in red so it stands out a bit. X to D, let's draw again a nice straight line from X to D. Where's my ruler? There it is. Okay, X to D is the vector 3C minus a half A. Okay, right, given that fact, find the value of K. Right, that sounds like a challenge, but we're going to rise to it. So, the usual way of doing these questions is to uh, take the vector we're dealing with and to write it in a different route, as it were. How do I get from X to D, not necessarily along the vector that I know? Okay, well, it seems to be the simplest and shortest way of getting from X to D would be go from X to C and then C to D. Now, we're going to have to do a bit of work along the way to work out what those vectors are, but let's give it a go, shall we? So, x to d is equal to, what did we just say? We said x to c plus c to d. Okay. Right, well, I'm going to substitute in what I know already. So, x to d is 3c minus a half a. Now, what about x to c? Okay, how do I get from x to c? Well, because x c is the uh, sorry x is the midpoint of a c. All right, we know that so x is the midpoint of a c, and so x c is a half of a c, is it not? Yep. So, what about a c? How do I get from a to c? Well, to get from a to c along vectors that I know, I'm going to go backwards down. Uh, that vector there, the vector a, and then I'm going to go forwards along this vector. So let's write that down. So xc is a half of ao plus oc. Okay, and we know those vectors. So that's a half of, well, ao is backwards along a, and when I go backwards along a vector, that's minus that vector, and oc is just c, and so I have that. Right, so let's put that in uh, to our equation. So I've got a half of minus a plus c, and then cd. Right, this one might just take us a little bit of thought, but how do I get from c to d? Well, I know that it's a multiple of oc, don't I? And all I have to do is work out what multiple of oc it is. Well, just looking at it, it's going to be 1 over k times OC, isn't it? All right, you can either do that from the ratio we've been given here, or we can just sort of spot from the diagram, because we've drawn our diagram well, that um, CD is 1 over k times the little vector C, is it not? So let's put that in um, to our equation. And so that's 1 over k times C. 
and you'll notice that we have an equation which has got vectors in it, yes, these C's, A's and C's, but it's also got the number K in it, and that is what we're trying to find. So we stand a chance. Let's just sort this out a little bit. 3C minus a half A on the left. Let's multiply out this bracket. So I've got a half times minus A and a half times C. So minus a half A plus a half C uh, plus 1 over K times C. And, oh look, minus a half A on both sides. So we can cancel those or add a half A to both sides, however you want to say that. And then we can try and get that thing with k in it on its own by subtracting the half c from this side. So here we go. Uh, let's subtract a half c from both sides. Now I'm going to do this in fractions. All right, so I'm going to say, let's do a little bit more working down here. Um, 3 minus a half is 6 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is 5 over 2, isn't it? So I've got on the left, 5 over 2c is equal to, well, the only thing I've got left on the right, as it were, is 1 over k times c. And again, with the green cancelling pen, I can see that the c's will cancel, and I get 5 over 2 is equal to 1 over k, and flipping the whole thing upside down, I get that 2 fifths is equal to k over 1, or just k. Oh, and we're done. Well, that just sort of fell out, didn't it? All right, we've had to do quite a lot of sort of hard working along the way, like that, but it did just all fall out in the end. Good stuff.